Opina. Sit Manachai. And there you can see the tail of the tape of the two combatants in Group B of the Azuzu Cup. I mean, when I saw Pet, um, I keep saying Pet Tong Chai, but it's just, <laughs> it's just Tong Chai. Tong Chai Pet Rung Rung. When I saw him in the fight card, I was very surprised. You know, as we said, we haven't seen him compete mm. for quite a while now. I mean, we've seen him in past entertainment shows, past three round fight shows, but mainly he was competing in the five round circuit. Yep. I think around three years ago, I remember him fighting uh, a fight by the name of Pat Pet Lamsim, and that was during COVID with no crowds in the, t in the uh, stadium. But we are packed here at the Thai Fight Arena at Beat Active. But yeah, he's a very good puncher. He's pet to it's, oh. it's catchy. <laughs> it's Tong Chai. It is. It's just Tong Chai, not Pet Tong Chai. But he looks in terrific shape. So even though he's a replacement fight, he's clearly been keeping himself in shape, even though he's been out the ring for three years. For those that don't know, Pet Tong Chai, he is the 31st oh. Isu Cup That's tournament right. winner. That's right. There's the connection. Exactly. <laughs> good little kick there from Tong Chai. You gotta love the build of Tong Chai. I mean, he must be well rested after three years. But the question is, will he be well rested or will he have a bit of ring rust? That's right. Well, let's find out. Left high kick there from Tong Chai. Tong Chai coming in close. Paradon leg we haven't seen it too much of. A swinging left hook there from Tong Chai. This is. But so far, I'm gonna say it. Paradon leg, he looks composed. He does. I believe he already competed in the Thai Fight League once. Not quite sure, but so far so good for the young man. I have to say the name doesn't sound familiar, but you could be right. Paradon Lek now on the ropes. Good left kick there for Paradon Lek. Yep, Paradon Lek. Like you said, Kevin, looks very composed. Looks like someone who's competed more often than Tong Chai has over the last three years. Let's put it that way. Good left kick to the body there from Tong Chai. I'm loving the left switch kick from Paradon Leng. Haven't seen Tong Chai try to stop it once. Or he was, he's not able to stop oh, it anyways. Nice push kick there. Yeah, throw a real venom and a return by Tong Chai. Got to say, you want to see more from Tong Chai. He's not attacking as he did in the first round or earlier in this round. Yep. Maybe showing a bit of respect to Paragon left in the skill set. A little bit too much respect if you ask me. Good knee there from <laughs> Tong Chai. And you know, when you're fighting someone who hasn't fought in three years, attacking the body is probably a smart move. I'm trying to say, Tong Chai is built like a tank. He is. Tong Chai trying to go for that knockout punch. But he has been in the ring with some of the best fighters. Last fight was against uh, a fight by the name of Mon Kong Gao, saw some eyes. Probably up there as one of the best at 135 pounds, that is not 65 kilograms. I mean, I remember Tong Chai as a young teenager, he was one of the best prospects out there. So it's good to see him back into the ring. Good sweep there earlier by Tong Chai. Ken Rung for those that don't know, is one of the one of the top gyms when it comes to producing young talented fighters. We've had Pen Utong, Dewan Chai. We also had PTT, of course. Yeah, of course. And I think, I believe, for their international fans who, especially in the States, Sylvie. That's right. On uh, Douglas Nitu, I think she think she trains there as well. Used to. She used to. That's Apologies. correct. Same with the other fighters, and that's the end of the first round. Let's have a look at the highlights from that opening round here. Group B of the Isuzu Cup. Tong Chai not having it all his own way in that opening round. Paradon let perform very well indeed. And actually, we were talking about Diesel Noy early before. He's actually in the corner of Tong Chai, screaming instructions during the break there. You think he's telling him to clinch a knee? <laughs> yeah, that could be the case. But we're taking a look at the comment section. Seems like. People are split as yeah. to who won the first round. Aaron, who would you say? I would be tempted, you know, to give it to Paragon. Like, you know, the way, the way that... He's able to defend. And like and based on that, yeah, I would probably give it to Paragon. Like. I have to agree with you, Paragon, like, but slightly. Sli yeah, very slightly. Now, if someone said to me, I thought Tong Chai won that round, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, fair enough, yeah. I understand completely. 
This is probably the clinch knee style. It seems like it's Paradon Leck who initiated it. Hey, he has, so he has been listening to Diesel Noise. <laughs> Good team there from Tong Chai, but a return by Paradon Leck. Can you imagine that? Knocking out Tong Chai with a knee right in front of Diesel Noise. Oh, wow. <laughs> But left knee there from Tong Chai. I don't know if you can see in your bottom right-hand corner of that image, but Yuzo Noy is egging on Tong Chai to move forward. Yeah, what he needs you want, you've got to go forward. And he's very happy what he's seeing right now from Tong Chai. And for those who don't know, we keep going on about Yuzo Noy. Who is this Yuzo Noy? What, what, back in the mid-80s? Maybe the early 90s as well? Early 80s, four years, late 70s, undefeated four years. That's a myth. Is that right? That 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 okay. that's a myth. I don't know where people got that from. But, but either way, either are one of the best fighters of all time. Absolutely. He owned the featherweight division in the past. Absolutely amazing fighter. The left kick there from Paradon Leck, and remember he's doing all of this off the back foot, and he's making it look. It has to be said relatively easy so far. As Diesel Noise screams on. I'll tell you what is it's the technique and the composure. Tong Chai is just struggling right now to get anything on Paradon Leg. Yeah, swinging right hand but Paradon Leg. He knows it's coming and is able to throw a knee within the clinch. Defending well and now partnering as well. I would ask you, Aaron, if you were in this corner, what, what would you tell me differently? But he's got Diesel Noy in his corner, so I'm not going to ask yeah, that. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Cut there from Tom Chai. But it's one of those things again, who do you give it to? The fighter's moving forward and trying to attack or the fighter defending and countering. Good kick there from Tom Chai. Well, I think that's one of the best offense we've seen so far for the Mantra Petrol Club Chip. Purely based on defensive acumen and technique right now, I would probably still give it to Paragon Leg. Yeah, based on that. So far as Tong Chai pushing forward once again, Paradon Leg at the back of the ropes, good left kick there for Pen Tong Chai. Pen Tong Chai, excuse me. What we need is a Pen Tong Chai jar. Every time you say that name, you've got some money. <laughs> Tong Chai, Tong Chai. That's right. I think they'll work out just fine. You see what Paradon Leg is just dancing away, and he wants Tong Chai to move forward so he can then counter strike. End of round two here at Thai Fight League. Stay with us. Third and final round coming up. Another frustrating round potentially for Tong Chai. Paradon like just being so evasive, just able to move out of the majority of the strikes or defend what Tong Chai is throwing and counter striking well as oh totally high. Yeah. But being honest, I think it was another round for Paragon Lek. Now, I could be wrong about that first round. I mean, right now, it could be one or but based on my unofficial scorecard, I'm going to give it... I'm going to say uh, Paragon Lek is two rounds up. Yeah, once again, a very difficult round to score, but well, depending what you like... But Paragon Lek did uh, such a great job defensively. All right, here we go, third and final round. No, you asked me, like, if you were, if I was in the corner of Tong Chai, not that, I'm going to take any away from Diesel Noy. I would say, I know he's got power in his hands. Instead of going to the head, goes to the body. Yeah, that could be the you case. Know, something like that. Ch switch it up, switch levels. Instead of head hunting, the, you know, the head moves, the body tends not to. Yeah, that could be the case. Good two kicks, though, there by Tong Chai. And a good hook. Paradon, like, being a, book, a bit more aggressive in this third round. Well, Paradon Lek has to be. I mean, if you think of his judges in the first and second round, he has to do it right now. Good kick to the body there by Tong Chai. Again, swinging, swinging high, and again, it's being blocked by Paradon Lek. Yeah, the only thing that could cement Paradon Lek's victory right now is if he goes forward, goes aggressive. Good knee there, and a good return though from Tong Chai. Another good knee from Tong Chai. A nice right knee there from Tong Chai as it's well. Definitely some of the advice from Diesel Noy in the break. Yeah, absolutely. Another good left kick there from Caradon Leg. As 
Tokchai needs to move forward. Good two kicks in a row by Tokchai, and he manages to keep his balance. Yeah, you can see Paradon Let was trying to take Tokchai off his feet, but that was not going to happen. Tokchai looking very strong. I'm actually looking forward to see either of these men take on Suk Sawat in the next fight. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. And I think after this fight as well, it might light a fire under Tokchai to go back to the gym and try and regain that form that we saw three years ago when he was one of the rising stars in the stadium. Oh, oh. good left high kick there, but... He just lost his balance. Yeah. Good knee there from Tong Chai. Yeah, Paradon Leg not doing so much at the moment. Maybe he believes that he's done enough. Good knee down the middle there from Tong Chai. Yeah, you can see in the corner of Paradon that we're next to his corner. And they're just saying, just take it easy, just defend your position. I think they Oh, stunning left elbow there from Paradon Lek. That thing might for have sure. been an exclamation mark on the fight, that, to be honest. One thing's for sure, that hurt Tong Chai. Definitely. Not sure if it's the best of ideas telling your fighter to go back in a three round fight. I mean, when it's a three round fight, you gotta fight for those three rounds. Good uh, sweep there for Paradon Lek. Technically very, very good. And a great push there for the referee. <laughs> <laughs> Left kick there once again from Paradon Lek. Good block for the knee by Tom Chai. Over the course of the three rounds, I'm not sure Tom Chai is actually connected with anything super clean enough. I mean, that's down to the defensive skills of Paradon Lek. That's right. End of the third and final round, we will go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. Tong Chai knows that he might be on the end of a, a defeat right now, but props to that man right there. All three rounds. As you see some of the highlights of the fight. You know, I'm actually really excited to see how the judges are going to score this one. I mean, once again, I mean, I say week in and week out, do you give it to the fighter who constantly moves forward and try to be aggressive, or do you give it to the more calm, the more composed what fighter? We'll have to see. I think it'd be very, very harsh if Paradon like, doesn't get the decision, but you're right. I'm not a judge. I don't know. I but mean, yeah, some more I said to take into account of how your stance is or how strong you look to, in, in the ring, whilst others, they prefer... <laughs> And this is the result of the decision. And the winner is... Black Corner, Tong Chai from Chon Bullet!